Howdy folks and welcome to another Automation Anywhere and BPM technical video. In this edition we're going to look at the ability to launch an Automation Anywhere bot or task from within a BPM environment. In previous videos we looked at uh, Automation Anywhere launching BPM processes and interacting with BPM code screens in this one, we're going to take it in the opposite direction. Let's imagine that we've got a BPM coach or other user interface, and on that coach, we wish to launch a bot. Maybe the bot can do things faster than we can manually type. Maybe it can go out to a database or an Excel spreadsheet. Maybe it can pull in data from various other applications and then populate our BPM screens faster than we can. So the idea of launching a bot, well, that's, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. So let's delve into the technologies that would allow us to do this. Now, the good news is there's multiple ways of achieving this. And uh, this technique that I'm going to illustrate here is a little unusual. Um, it was one of the first ones I got working. I may not like it in the future, but you know, it works right now and it's, it has legs and uh, there, might be, there might be some good value in this to come. So let's have a look at it. So when we run this coach, here's a coach, here's a button. When we run this coach, it looks like this. And when I click this button, watch down here at the bottom right and we will see the Automation Anywhere bot launch. I click the button, my hands are now off the keyboard, Automation Anywhere is firing itself up, it's loading a task, and the task does nothing more than says, hello world. But you could imagine this task could do anything. It could scrape this screen, it could launch Excel, it could launch any Windows application, it could remote log in, it could do anything in order to populate the current screen. Okay, so there we see it working, and it worked nicely. So let's have a look at how we achieved this. So the notion that uh, we used here is a very simple notion, and it's the idea that within our screen we call this launch a bot button. And the launch a bot button, when clicked, executes a JavaScript method called start bot. Okay, so where's this start bot? Down here we have a few lines of JavaScript. Now over time we're going to polish this up and we're going to uh, make it a reusable uh, uh, toolkit. But for right now, here's the complete function. And what the complete function does is it makes a REST request. And it makes a REST request to my local PC. And that local PC is configured to listen on an incoming REST request and launch automation anywhere with a specific task that, uh, that is configured within this service. So when we make a REST request, there has to be something listening for an incoming REST request. Now that could be a web server, that could be a whole variety of things. We've gone for the simplest solution possible, which is Node-RED. And this Node-RED flow here, this says I'm listening for an incoming REST request. The REST request gets completed. And we have here the launch command, which is a Node-RED execute statement. And what the Node-RED execute statement does is it launches a particularly named, and we've hard-coded this one, ATMX file, which of course is the Automation Anywhere executable file. So again, let's uh, let's review that notion. So we've got a Node-RED flow here. The Node-RED flow is listening for an incoming REST request. When the REST request arrives, it launches Node-RED, winding that back to our BPM environment. In our BPM environment, we've got a script here, and this script, when this script is called, invokes that REST request, and of course invoking that REST request causes the Automation Anywhere bot to launch, and we associate the running of that script with a click of a button. So all the pieces fit together. We click a button, it runs a script, the script makes a REST call from the browser, the browser request hits Node-RED on the same machine, the Node-RED call launches our Automation Anywhere task. As simple as that. Now, it really was simple, didn't take long to produce this one. Uh, in a production environment, we'd want to include security and other significant considerations, and we'll talk about those in a future video. 
But for now, that's really all that is involved in launching a Automation Anywhere task from within a BPM environment. Now, the, uh, the observant viewer will also consider that there's nothing BPM specific about this. If one had a web page, a generic web page, which included code similar to this code here to launch uh, a REST request, then that would launch the Automation Anywhere task. So if you are not a BPM user, but you are in fact uh, an Automation Anywhere uh, environment, then consider this as one possible solution for launching Automation Anywhere tasks from a web page in your own environment. I hope you found something useful here. Nice, short, clean, concise video. Talk to you all soon, folks. Bye for now.